Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the greenhouse. It is time for a bloom tour. I've got some old blooms that you've seen and some new ones. I'm sure you're spying with your little eye right now. And do you guys like my toddler chair I've been using to sit down and water and soak and just hang out in my greenhouse? <laughs> Anyhow, so let's get started, guys. I am gonna start you guys off with my absolute favorite bloom in my greenhouse. This is my favorite orchid, like bloom-wise. It is a no ID, and as you can see, as it starts to, the bloom as it starts to age, the petals do turn yellow, but the magenta, polka dots stay and I love this orchid it's I love it because it's cute it's petite it's yellow the dots are like a purple magenta and it's amazing to me here is my yellow bird and I'm sorry the blooms are I got the fan going guys but I just love this yellow that's happening. I love the shape. I love the magenta dots. And I like how it, when it first opens, it is like a pinkish red color. And then as the blooms um, mature, they turn all yellow. You can see how the uh, bud is pinkish reddish and that's what color it opens and it's been a great grower it's a bag baby that I got from Lowe's on discount for I think like seven bucks I don't remember it was really cheap and every new growth is creating a new flower spike it did come pretty rootless so there is all pebbles and then a top layer of moss and it's just doing fantastic I love it. It's so pretty. All right, the Frilly Doris has opened from the Maui Orchid Whisperer. Hopefully this light isn't too horrible and you can really see the details. This side has more that's, look at that. It's very alien-like to me, but to be quite honest with you, when it comes to my orchids, I really like the girly blooms, the pretty, the pretty stuff. And I know a lot of people like unique orchids, um, but I'm more, I like the pretty stuff and this is cool looking to me, but <laughs> it's alien looking to me too. But it's um, definitely a showstopper. There's no scent yet. But I am a real fan of these polka dots, these little dots up here. And I am a fan of the frilliness of the lip. So its name fits it pretty good, Frilly Doris. Here is Gold Grape by Happy Eagle. It is killing off one flower spike, but it's creating a lot of stuff right now, a lot of stuff happening. And I don't think the camera's picking it up too well, but the blooms are two different colors because the bottom bloom is a lot older than the top bloom. When this first blooms, it opens, the yellowness opens as like a really green color. And it smells like Fruit Loops during the hottest part of the day. And it's been a great eBay purchase. I'm super happy with this Phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis javanica is just blooming its little heart out right now. You can see that oldest, the, well, the two oldest blooms fading, but it is just blooming its heart out. And it has picked up a fragrance. Not a great fragrance, but 
there's something there. Val Javonica. So this corner of the greenhouse has kind of become my little Phalaenopsis corner. And I'll show you a close up of each bloom. I don't remember where I got this one from, but good gosh, it's been in bloom for months. Just months. And then the next one. Look at that. Now, I've not seen one of these fowls yet with the hint of pink on it like that. I did buy this one in bloom from Trader Joe's for $6.99, $7.99. No fragrance but beautiful. The next one is this gorgeous, beautiful, big fowl. It is a Trader Joe's fowl for $12. I bought this one in bloom and it's pretty spectacular. You guys know I love my fowls. guys have seen this one in a previous video it is another Trader Joe one and I am just in love with those little polka dots in there no fragrance this one has been in bloom for ages it feels like it's just your basic no ID purple grocery store fowl that you see everywhere but she's a reliable bloomer and a great bloomer and puts on a great show and then this gorgeous no ID from Trader Joe's <laughs> I think this one was seven dollars too now this was is the only fragrant one on this table and smells of cinnamon a spicy cinnamon fragrance and she opens up really trying to show you so, uh, dark and then she fades to that orange yellow you can see some of the blooms are starting to fade but that is my phalaenopsis table and that's what I have in bloom right now you guys I hope you enjoyed until next time happy growing everyone bye